Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you some more ideas of how you can do a little acts of decluttering. So my name is Rachel and I do videos all about minimalism, decluttering and my no spend year. And today we're going to look at more ways that we can make decluttering fun and more enjoyable. As you know, it's hard to find time to declutter and it can be overwhelming. So these little acts of decluttering are just going to make it that a little bit easier. First up, go paperless. This means that you need to go through any utility bills that you have and make sure that you download a digital copy and save that on your computer in an organised system and then get rid of the paper copies. Next up, you need to find everything at home. Think logically about where each item is going to live. Does it need to be somewhere that's really accessible or is it somewhere that can be put to the side because you don't need it as often? So think logically about that place and where it is that you use that item so that you are easily able to find it and also easily able to put it away. Next up is to have yourself a declutter buddy. So find somebody else that is on the similar mindset that will help you get motivated. It's somebody that can motivate you, keep you accountable and just enjoy your decluttering experience with you. Your next little act is to find 10 things in your home that you can get rid of straight away. So these can be any 10 things and they need to be removed from your home immediately. Next up is to only touch things once. So this can refer to things like uh, your mail in the post. So when you pick up post, as soon as you've touched it, you need to decide straight away if it's something that you need to keep and file or if it's something that needs to go straight in the recycling. So you make that decision straight away, only touch things once Make a decision as to what's happening and where it's going to be and then do that straight away. My next tip is to ask yourself when you're thinking about an item whether or not it sparks joy. I know lots of people aren't fully on board with the Marie Kondo method but actually if you love an item and it makes you feel happy, keep it. If it doesn't, then don't keep it. It's as simple as that. Next up is to go through unused gifts. The transaction is an important part of gift giving, not the actual gift itself. So don't feel guilty about throwing away an unused gift. Find a way of rehoming it so that you do not keep hold of it for longer than you need to. Next up is to have a one in one out policy. So you can apply this to a range of different things. It could be that you apply it to your children's artwork. So I used to have a policy where I'd have one piece of artwork on the fridge and as soon as a new piece of item came in from school, uh, he needed to decide if it was something that he wanted to swap with the current piece of artwork and put the other one in recycling. So this can apply to a number of different things, but that's my example for you. It will help you to stop accumulating lots of similar items and it helps you kind of keep a track of the number of items that you may have. Next up is to use the 1990 rule. Have you used it in the last 90 days or do you plan using it in the next 90 days? If that doesn't apply, then you need to get rid of that item. To use washi tape to help you decide what to declutter. So you can set a period of time on this one and make sure it's a time period that suits you. But the idea is that you put a piece of washi tape on each item, it can just be a small amount. And then when you use the item, you take the washi tape off. And then after your period of time that you have decided on, you then declutter any of the items that still have washi tape, because those are the items that you have not used in that period of time you probably don't need. My next tip is to ask yourself, would you buy the item again? Is it an item that you think, oh, if I went into a shop now, oh, this, this item broke, I would go and replace that item. If it's not, then it's something that you can get rid of. My next tip is to use the hangers in your wardrobe to help you decide what clothes to keep and what clothes you wear. So turn them all the wrong way so that it's more difficult to get them out. And then every time you use an item, when you put it back, you put it the hanger the right way round. This will help you to see, and again, over a set period of time that you decide what items of clothing you have used and which items you don't use. This might help you make those decisions where you're not quite sure if you use that item or not. My next tip is to limit yourself. So decide how much space you're going to give to a particular category and only have that amount of space filled with that category. So if you have too many to fill that space, then that means you, you need to declutter. It might help you get control over the number of items that you have. If you know that you only want one drawer that's filled with t-shirts, then you can only have enough that fit in that drawer. It just helps you kind of visualize how much stuff you have. Hopefully you've enjoyed these different ways of decluttering and these are little acts that you can do 
over a period of time or each day to help you get into a decluttering mindset. Remember, each time you do one of these little acts, it's helping you to think differently about the possessions that you own. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below for videos on minimalism, decluttering and my no spend year. And I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye.